H2000 here. Was talking to Joe the other night, Captain Joe, and I've been watching some of the stuff that Daryl, D guy, has been doing. And then you guys will remember sometime back, Yorg made a slingshot like this in some ways. Kind of while I was on the phone, this brainchild came. Three layers of aluminum. The first two layers are glued together. We'll clean them up once they're glued. What I get once I get all three. Cleaning the inside layers as I go. <sighs> um, gonna make sure that you're gonna have to sand just a touch. You can see a little bit of a dribble of a, of glue right in there that I'll have to sand out. And make sure it's smooth. Gonna put this pin in here down you know through and glue it and then on the top one it'll just sit loose in a hole on this plate that will screw on I might have to get slightly longer screws I don't know I'll tap and die them gonna we'll probably put one up on each corner of the fork and one down at the bottom somewhere and as you can see you will put a loop of tube down. It'll go up. It'll tie to whatever pouch you have up here. It'll retract inside the slingshot for the most part. You'll probably only pull about five, six inches outside of the slingshot. After I get this glued, I'll go along these edges with some of my small files. Anyway, this is the progress shot. I just wanted to give you guys an idea. By the time it's all said and done, I believe it's, I believe that's, I want to say sixteenths, maybe an eighth and a sixteenth. So it's going to be about a sixteenth thicker than the normal OPFS. It'll be about a quarter inch when it's done, I think, maybe a touch more. And once I get it all sanded, I'll take some more pictures. And once I get the the thing going over here, uh, I'll get I'll get more. But this is a job that's happening really fast. It's probably only going to get a matte finish so that I can get busy to using it. Because you know that guys like Captain Joe, Ray, and Daryl probably all going to be waiting to shoot on this thing.